let's let's go in depth. Does anybody want care? I don't care. I'm just going to talk about it. All right. So this is actually important. Right off the bat, I'm going to pause it right off the bat. Whole analysis of Bianca Wade. Get 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 ready. Sit down. Uh, so my intention for the water slide at the start. Actually, hold on. I'm going to turn off the sound for this. I'm going to turn on desktop sound. Nice. Uh, all right. So the way this starts, I get like a directional input of slightly forward to the right, slightly to the right, very slightly, like enough for Mario to acknowledge it, but not enough to like actually turn right. So I'm like, just turn slightly to the right. You see? Water slide up there. Make sure to gain all, like, I, I don't think I've ever heard anybody talk about this water slide to get onto the grass, but you just have to have enough momentum to go over the ridge and then keep your momentum, right? You don't want to, like, go close to the, gr to the grass right away and then, like, go back and forth because then you'll just stick to the left. But uh, you just have to have all your momentum and go over the ridge. All right, and then you slide, you slide, you slide. You make sure your angle's really good here uh, so that you can fly off the grass here and land here for the momentum spin. Flight hover there. And then you hover, spin jump dive. I don't think, I, I made this movement for the trees. It's fairly simple. Uh, you can actually fuck up part of it, but whatever. Double jump, dive into the rocket, and you get the rocket. Store the spin jump, land on the rope. Hold forward at this point. I'm holding forward at this moment. Uh, w with ropes, it's fairly complicated, but the camera, just know that the, the camera angle that I have Mario at right now, or the camera, the angle that I have the camera at right now, makes it so that if I'm holding forward, I will get a, I will make it so that Mario is able to jump off the rope with his, the most height he can, and then get a dive out of it. So jump, dive, out of that rope. But before I hit the water here, it's important to note that I'm going to do a ground pound. And the reason I do a ground pound is because uh, uh, you can start charging rocket immediately when you ground pound. So it's kind of like Odyssey where you ground pound dive, but in this case, I'm ground pound rocketing. Uh, you can't actually rocket out of a ground pound, but the water itself will cushion the ground pound so that I won't lose any charge out of the ground pound. And I'll just reorient my angle. So I'm gonna ground pound right now. In order to start charging my rocket, you'll notice in the bottom right corner, I will start charging my rocket before I hit the water. So I'm halfway charged. I hit the water and I don't lose any charge whatsoever. If I was ground pounding onto land or something like that, I would lose all my charge. Uh, in Bowser, it's a little bit different because you charge so much before you actually hit the ground pound plate. Also, uh, for ground pound plates that actually disappear, you can keep most of your charge in a lot of the cases in something that disappears, like boxes, things that you smash. Uh, but in water, you just cushion cushion the blow. Uh, almost fully charged rocket, just continue. Jump dive. Uh, I jumped right before I did that. We're gonna watch this again. Jump dive off the rope, ground pound. Just before I jump out of the water, I'm jumping. You might not notice it, but I you have to jump out of the water in order to rocket. There's actually a strat where you can, for the next point, I'll actually point that out next. So I'm jumping out of the water slightly and diving. Landing on this coin. There are a lot of different strats to get the third coin. I use that one. Uh, I'm fairly certain it's the fastest way to get it. Uh, be, uh, the only reason it's faster, I think, is because you start charging the rocket before you hit the water. Okay, so at this point, I start charging the rocket and do a jump dive. You, there's actually a strat here that theoretically would save time. Uh, I've gotten it a few times in IL attempts, but never got the IL world record with it. Uh, if you jump, basically the frame, uh, you jump out of the water, the frame, you uh, get the rocket boost or something like that. Like just before, I don't know. There's a really small window where you can jump out of the water and get the rocket boost but get a weakened rocket boost because of because you're partially in the water or something like that. Uh, so that you can just dive and hit the coin directly. Here I'm going super high, but 
you can make it so that you're as high as the red coin and get a ground pound immediately. Uh, I err on the side of caution though, because if you don't jump out of the water in time, you'll just won't get a rocket boost and then you'll have to start charging again, which wastes time and therefore would nullify the, the attempt, right? So uh, I err on the side of caution and jump out of the water. But if you, if, I don't know, if I jumped a little sooner, it would have been fine. Anyway, ground pound on the shine. You start charging as you get the red coin. I don't know if in this IL I'm going to get the red coin, but I know the timing so well anyway, so that uh, I start charging when I would get the red coin and just jump into the red coin as I rocket boost. So at this point, you 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 start the charge for the rocket boost as you pass the red coin, jump into the red coin or get the red coin as you fall, jump off the rope holding forward, actually forward left. You You start holding forward left at this point in order... You, just straight forward left in order to make this rope. So you ground pound, start charging, and hold forward left. Make sure your camera is directly uh, perpendicular to the, or parallel with the rope. I guess it would pa be parallel with the rope so that the rope's totally straight. Uh, and then hold forward left. Uh, when you get to the rope up here, you don't hold any inputs. Or you don't hold any direction. So before you, you want to hold forward left in order to get to this rope, but then before hitting the rope, you want to let go of the stick so that Mario just lands on it. If you're holding forward, you'll grab it on the side, right? And just be hanging onto it. But in order to be fast, you want to be fast. So you uh, hold forward left, let go right before the rope. So I'm going to tell you what my inputs are right now. So forward left, let go of the stick. So I'm not holding any directions at this point. Jump off the rope, uh, holding forward, I'm pretty sure. Ground pound before you hit the rope so that you land on the rope. Uh, and then jump dive, ground pound. The camera, the, the angle of the camera is important here as well. Uh, I'm the only person that does this strat. Uh, usually you just like jump Y turn dive or you just turn around and do jump dives towards the windmill that's behind you that the rope that you're on is connected to. Uh, to the right of the screen right now. But uh, what I do is I'm holding straight forward. So just like I was talking about after the second coin earlier, uh, my camera is in the perfect position to hold straight forward and get the, the, the perfect jump forward or the perfect jump off the rope, if you will. So I'm get, gonna get a really high jump and dive. And then I'm gonna do a Y turn. So I'm holding straight forward, turning Mario, jump, with a rocket and diving. Y turn, grab the coin. I, I'm i so lucky. I don't even understand how I missed this red, men red menace here. Like I'm so fast that the red menace is actually a threat. If you're slower, uh, which I usually am, it doesn't, the, the menace really doesn't, I call them the red menace. I don't know what they're actually called. Uh, they might be spinies. I don't know. Uh, I actually don't know how I missed it. Anyway, so to go through that again, ground pound on the rope, hold forward, start charging the rocket. When did I start charging the rocket? I, I think I start it just as I ground pound, just as soon as I can, right? Because that makes the most sense. So, because uh, as I mentioned earlier, when you start the ground pound, you can start charging a rocket. Uh, and the ropes are the same kind of thing as water, where the ropes won't affect how much charge there is. If it was ground, again... It would impact the charge and it was, would lessen the charge or something like that. But the fact that it's a rope and or water, it doesn't affect the charge whatsoever. One more time. Hold forward. Rocket boost. Dive. Y turn. Uh, the menace, I made sure to turn through the red coin. Uh, it doesn't really matter. This is super duper high level Bianco 8 where I'm trying to be as far to the left as I can be so that I miss the the spiny, I call them the red menace. I will continue calling them the red menace. Ground pound. Because you can ground pound at a Y turn. Uh, okay, here you just do a jump, super simple jump uh, off the rope as high as you can, dive. After this dive though, you do a rollout Y turn onto this next windmill. All right? So that's kind of complicated. As... 
as you roll out though, you can start charging. Same same thing as ground pounding. Uh, when you roll out during a dive, you cannot charge a rocket, but while you're rolling out, you can get it. Uh, you can start charging it. So I hold top. I don't know. This is something you'll have to like somewhere between, like basically top right, but slightly not top right. Just rocket boost off the windmill. <laughs> Dive. Into the direction of this red coin. Okay? And this is the new strat that I made last night that I was having a little bit of trouble earlier this morning, but I'll, I'll get it down. Uh, you, before you hit the red coin, you're not trying to dive through the red coin. You're actually trying to dive through the red coin. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm misspeaking. You're trying to Y turn through it. Y turn dive through it. So you're trying to get your right, your correct angle. Y turn before you hit the red coin. Y turn through the red coin. This is RTA viable and makes the ending so much faster and easier. If you get that strat, then you are set up perfectly to just land on this green grass here. And the green grass is perfectly leveled to just get without even a jump. Don't jump. Jumping would be bad. Uh, just rocket boost, dive. And you got the shine. And that's Bianco 8. Uh, world record analyzed, I don't know, a lot. <laughs>